everybody. Why am I singing? I don't know. <laughs> but I can't sing, just so you all know. Anyway, today is the 16th day of Advent. And that means nine days until Christmas. So let's start off with the old tea calendar. And here we have number 16. And we all know it's going to be a duplicate because it's been duplicates for the last couple of days. Um, and it is due to do spicy anise. Yes, we've had spicy anise before. And this is actually a very good tea. So, all right, there you go. I think the fun about this will be the puzzle at the end. I'm just gonna try to start putting it together. Here, I'll wait till it's all turned over and then we'll put it together. And then what we do with it is beyond us. Probably take a picture and throw out the box. Anyway, reality, right? We're gonna do with these tiny little boxes. I mean, I guess you could use these for something. Building blocks if you have children. Right? I don't know. I don't have children. Uh, here's the Bon Maman calendar. And we are looking for 16, which is down here today. 16. And let's go ahead and put it down right away so we know we don't have issues. We don't have issues anyway, but we'll try it. Number 16, the gift of love, it says. Oh, yeah, the gift, the gift of love. And the gift of love is... Ah, oh, I got it. <laughs> All right, here we are. Apricot bergamot, bergamot spread. No, we have not had this. I'm very pleased with the jelly calendar. I'm going to give really big kudos right now because we have not had any duplicates in the jelly calendar. So, yay us. Um, unfortunately, I will be the only one trying the jelly, uh, jelly today, or, or I'll leave it for Phil, the rest of it, but... He had an early morning meeting. So um, I see he's on that meeting right now as we speak. So I will make myself a slice of toast and tell you how this tastes. And then I'll let Phil try it a little bit later. And he can tell you what he thought about it later. Look who came out of his meeting just for jelly. <laughs> jelly? Who said jelly? <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus it's better have him on camera and not me today because I'm not even dressed yet. I'm not going to lie. We had a very early morning meeting. So uh, I'm up with my pajamas doing mm -hmm. this. Okay. So anyway, so I'm going to let you taste the jelly today. Okay. And this time we'll do a guessing game. What do you think is in it? Hmm. All right. And we'll show the viewers what it is again. I think you'll get the first, maybe not the second piece. Hmm. Okay, there should be a time limit on this. I, I, I can't tell. I mean, it's not peach. You're in the right family, though. Maybe apricot? It is apricot. Yeah. Yes, but you, can you tell the second? You probably can't. Nobody probably could. No. Apricot. It's all apricot. Yeah. Apricot bergamot. Oh, bergamot. Oh, that was right. I, now I, I have no idea what that even is. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, though, right? Let me taste, bergamot. I, I haven't tasted it. Bergamot's mine yet. in Vermont, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's actually a little tart. Yeah. That's why I didn't taste the bergamot. Probably not. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks. Go back to your meetings now. Goodbye. Bye. All right. It's time for the kitty calendar. They're both here with me right now. So let's see. Number 16. Yep. All right. What are we going to get, kids? Oh, boy. Another plush toy. They just hate these. <laughs> Have I mentioned that a few hundred times during this video and you're sick of hearing me say that? Turtle, look, a candy cane. Look, she's on the table. Here, candy cane. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. Here, you want a candy cane? Yeah, probably not. All right, how about you? Miss, you want a candy cane? Nope. This one needs to go to the veterinarian today for a checkup. Don't you? She has a little bit of a sneeze. I have never heard a cat sneeze so much, and she's been sneezing a lot lately. So hopefully she's okay. She seems otherwise wonderful. But once in a while she's like, chew! And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Bless you, miss. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess the candy cane's a bust. Welcome to the Rituals Wonderland. Ha, ha, ha. Actually, I just, I love this calendar. Just because it's such, cute, such a cute calendar. Um, and I'm going to feel funny. I think I'm going to maybe just take all the buildings down when Christmas is over and then just maybe put it all in the box and just put it up next year as a decoration. Um, anyway, maybe. I'll think about that some more. Anyway, so here's uh, 
number 16 is right up front here. Do, do, do. A little tiny house. All right, number 16, give us something good. Holiday hospitality. Give your guests, I don't have any guests. Well, anyway, give your guests a luxurious experience for their entire stay with our boutique soap bar. <laughs> I'm sorry, why, why, did it, why did it take me five hours to read that? It was beyond me. I actually, honestly, I put my contacts back in today. So I'm readjusting to my, um, I guess they're called bifocal contacts where one is far and one's close. And it really works well once your eyes get back used to it. But anyway, I was kind of hoping for another glove. I know this is gonna sound stupid, but I tried the glove in yesterday's shower and I kind of hoped I had two. It was kind of weird having one on and you know, scrub it up and try to do the other side. You're like, hey, how, how do I do? So I have to change hands with the glove? <laughs> I don't know, I've never used, well, I think I had one years ago, but I'm kind of hoping maybe there's another glove in here somewhere. I don't know why. All right, shut up, Jane. What do you have? Um, doo -doo -doo. Ritual of Karma soap bar. Now, now, all right, hello. They just said to give this to your guest, right? So hopefully your guest is a very nice person. If they're not a nice person, they'll be like, Ritual of Karma. Is this a spell they're casting on me because I'm not a nice person? <laughs> I don't know, anyway. Holy Lotus and Organic White Tea. So it's a soap bar. I'm just curious though. I don't know why I'm curious to open this, but I am. It's probably white, yeah. It's a white soap bar. Ooh, that smells potent, but it's, it smells pretty, but it's definitely potent. It has a, a very <clears throat> distinct smell. Okay, I'll give that to Phil. <laughs> so you're gonna get karma for Christmas, buddy. Hello, everybody. Advent day 16, hope everybody's doing really well. Um, today is a little bit hard um, because it's, you know, and, and hopefully every year it gets a little easier, but today was the day last year that we had my father's funeral uh, in New York, because um, that's where his burial plot is. He had purchased one for himself, uh, or actually he didn't purchase one for himself. He was buried with his mother, actually my grandmother, so they, they purchased one. Um, at any rate, uh, I remember last year it was freezing out. I mean, wind whipping. It's wind whipping today in Illinois, but it wasn't super cold. I mean, it was like super, super cold um, to the point where the priest at the uh, at the cemetery was like doing his thing, but you could see he was frozen. And, uh, you know, it was just a really, really bad weather day. Um, but it was very nice that uh, people came to the funeral parlor, as we call them in New York, um, uh, funeral home to pay their respects. Um, and it was really nice to see some of the folks who, who did come. I know not everybody was coming because of COVID, obviously, and also because it was cold. <laughs> um, uh, but it's, I had a really nice surprise. One of my friends from school, uh, I'm talking about like, high, like grade school, um, who I hadn't seen in, geez, I don't know, 15, 16, I don't know, long, a lot of long time. <laughs> Um, saw that I had posted on Facebook that, you know, the funeral was going to happen this day for family. Mostly I was thinking, and, uh, he, I'm sitting there in the funeral parlor and somebody taps me on the shoulder and there he is. Uh, his name is Scott. And he just blew my mind. I was like, Oh my God, I haven't seen him since I was a little kid. <laughs> so it was just so nice when people surprise you like that. Right. And show they care. Stupid tears. <laughs> I was gonna maybe stop recording, but let me, I'm gonna keep going. But when you feel like you wanna reach out to somebody, do it, <laughs> because this is what happens. It makes them really happy. <laughs> this happy joy tears. Um, okay, <clears throat> not that I'm crying this time. So anyway, <laughs> um, after the funeral parlor, we went to the cemetery, obviously, but it was freezing out, absolutely freezing out. So some people didn't come, you know, to the cemetery, but then some other new people came. Uh, one of my father's best friend, uh, Richie, showed up um, and, and came to the uh, the burial. So it was, you know, it was just amazing who showed up and when they showed up. And it was just amazing to see all these people. Um, at any rate, um, at the end of this video, the very, very end, I am going to post a video my husband took of when the, um, uh, the military did the salute. Um, and I saw the flag, uh, they gave me the flag. So I thought I'd just post that because it was really a, a touching ceremony. And I know everybody who's had family members who have passed that are in the military has seen one of these, but it's, it's really cool <laughs> uh, how they did that. So I think I'll share that with you at the end of the video if you care to watch it. Um, anyway, a uh, picture of my dad today, by the way, is a picture of him in the army. <laughs> so again, that's another picture of him in the army. So I thought I'd share that. It's a good picture of him. Um, not sure who took it. Somebody in the army probably took it. 
Um, but I think it's a really a nice picture of my dad. And anyway, let's go ahead and open up some advent calendars and try to put some smiles on my face. All right, let's start with Clarence today, shall we? So happy to get my scrub yesterday. I know y'all know that, probably sit here in it. Anyway, number 16, whoops, a cord is getting in the way today. Um, it was a big pocket. So let's see what we get from Clarence today. Let's do something really big. Big, uh, maybe a big scrub. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, creme, all right, anyway, it says hand and nail treatment cream. <laughs> to read it in French because I have a terrible French accent and I can't speak French. So basically, hand cream and nail treatment cream. Target's age, age spots. I have a lot of veins, but I don't have any age spots yet. Maybe I should hold on to this until I'm like, I don't know, 70 or 80. Um, that's okay. We'll still use it. Strengthens nails and we can always use that. Um, so there you go. Nice, beautiful hand cream. Actually, I'm curious. You know me, I was going to smell everything. Oh, it's got a it's got a thing on it, so I'm gonna leave the thing on it and I'll wait till later. Alright, so it's Clarence hand cream. There right, you go. Let's go to the body shop next. And we're looking for number 16. Where is 16? It's probably down here. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I usually look ahead of time and I forgot this one. Come on. Alright. Didn't want to come out. Oh, here it is. Hooray! Cute. All right, so. Yeah, how come I always. Do you, know, you all notice I always pull up the French first? It's so weird how that happens. Anyway. Local businesses or charity you love? Question mark. Yes. Leave a review to show you your love and appreciation. I totally support St. Jude. That is my charity. That was my dad's charity, just to be fair. Uh, as a matter of fact, everything that's on eBay that I sell from. That is for my dad's collection. And what I mean by that is don't worry. I'm not selling off heirlooms but like my dad's baseball cards I've literally been selling my dad's baseball cards since last year because I don't need them and you know some of them I'm keeping just a few um, but uh, everything I sell on eBay for my dad's stuff goes to St. Jude um, a percentage goes to St. Jude's charity charity because that's what he would have wanted uh-oh <laughs> the only reason I said uh-oh is this is banana conditioner now I had to give Philip the banana shampoo because it had uh, sulfate, but I don't think typically, I'll look, I'll look at it later. S conditioners don't usually have sulfates sometimes, but I'll double check. Uh, it's possible that I could use the conditioner with another shampoo. Um, conditioner tends to run out faster than shampoo when you buy like a set. I don't know why that, oh, my hair's thick. Maybe that's why. But anyway, so today we have the banana conditioner and Phil does not use conditioner because if you've seen Phil, he's just got very thin hair. He doesn't really need conditioner. So I guess I'll be able to try this once uh, I double check to make sure there's no sulfate. But there All we right. go. Look fantastic up next. Do -do -do -do. Number 16 right there. It's a bigger box. Oh. All right. Let's have a check. Okay, it feels heavy. Not a candle though. But... What in the world? Bubble. <laughs> bubble, I feel a bubble. Rhubarb and custard bath. Ah, I need, I need a bigger bathtub. That's it. And to be fair, I actually got a quote from a contractor to possibly redo our bathroom uh, to put in the bigger tub, and they wanted twenty thousand dollars. And I'm like, dude, it's cheap for me to go to a hotel, <laughs> take a bath every once in a while. But now that I have so many of these, this is a big one too. This is one of those big bath bombs. I, I love stuff like this, so I guess I'm going to be calling a hotel soon. We actually are going to a hotel for New Year's Eve, so I will definitely bring at least one or two of these, have a bath in the morning and a bath at uh, night, um, but I just definitely uh, love these things. I just need a bigger tub. So if you know any contractors who want to give me a really good deal, let me know. Kiehl's time. And here we have a pretty purple box. Purple's my favorite color, in case you care. You probably didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, very pretty. And do do do. It is, oh, Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. Okay, excellent. We haven't had a ton of face washes, a few for sure. Looking forward to trying this. But if you remember, the Calendula toner had like what looked like weeds in it. <laughs> now, I'm not, I know me, I'm very, you know, crass and that good. I shouldn't have said weeds, but I know it was the, uh, the I don't know, Calendula leaves, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I'm wondering if the face wash is going to have 
freaky looking leaves in it too. I'm sorry, I'm just being silly. I'm sure this is very good stuff. Well, I can't tell. It's just, it's basically just the foaming face wash. So we will try that. And I will try this with the toner, so that way we have the pair. Um, what's interesting about this, as I mentioned before, is once I'm done with all of this, I'm going to be putting everything together and figuring out what I have, and then, you know, using the items not every day and trying once a day like I'm doing, but actually using the items, you know, at, at a time, like all the Kiehl stuff or all the you know Clarence stuff, because that's just the way I, I usually normally do things. Um, if anybody's wondering out there, I'm sure somebody's out there thinking, you know, she's trying all new products like every day on her face, mostly creams on my face. Or washes. Um, I wonder if she's gonna break out because you know they usually say don't you know do that you know keep trying different things every day. <laughs> um, and yes, I did break out. My 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 neck or towards my neck has a little bit of a pimple, and I'm like ah, oh. that's probably because I keep changing all these uh, different things every day. But once this is all over, then I'll stick to one or two uh, at a time. But anyway, you're probably saying who? Why we don't care, Jane? All right, so fair enough. Here you go, Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. All right, Luxaton number sixteen coming up right here. Let's see what we get today. Do, do. Ooh, what do we get? Do, do, do. We got, ta da! Oh, more almond stuff. Um, or Amand. But basically, this is a shower, shower oil? <laughs> I know, I'm such an idiot. I'm just like, is that something real? Um, I'm assuming it tastes like, or smells like almonds. Cleansing and softening shower gel. The Amande, I'm probably saying it wrong, it's probably Amande, I don't know, Amande or Amande, you choose. Um, but um, the thing we got from them last time was hand cream, it smelled so good, so I'm going to guess this is going to smell really good too, so I'm going to have to, okay, no, I can't, it doesn't open, never mind, can't smell it, let's see. Yeah, it, oh, it smells so good, I thought it would, so, but a shower oil, folks? I'm thinking shower gel, it's... Oh, I'm gonna have to look this one up too. Find out how the heck to use this. It probably here. Mm, rich with almond oil Do -do 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 from Provence. Oh, fancy schmancy. Shower oil transforms when in contact with water. So it's probably gonna foam up. <laughs> Sorry again, too long of a video. I'm getting silly today. But every time I see something new like this, I'm like, what is this? How do I use this? Um, by the way, I've been using the boob cream for almost a week now from Clarins. I'm almost at the bottom of the tube. My boobs look exactly the same. So there you go. <laughs> All right, 16 Yves Rocher right here. Let's see what we get. Yep. For an intensely black look, I'm gonna guess eye pencil. It's got to be like for a smoky eye or something. It sounds like a pencil, anybody guess? Let's see, do I wanna prize if it's the right thing, I think? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Crayon, coal, coal, pencil. All right, now if you recall, we just got a pencil from Sephora a couple of you know, days ago. I'm not gonna try to open it, it's got a sticker on it. But anyway, um, I'm gonna have to learn how to wear more eye makeup, I think. I'm just not good at it. I'm being very quite honest with you. I'm being very quite honest with English is that. I'm being very honest with you. I, I just, when I'm working from home, it's like who the heck, I mean, personally, I'm sure there's a lot of lovely ladies who have the time to do it and wanna do it. You know, make up their eyes and their eyelashes and their eyeshadows and it just, it's a lot of work to me. Um, usually I only do that when I go out like to dinner or, but you know, no judgment. <laughs> I just, I just don't have the energy and I'm not good at it. Plus, if you've noticed my eyes, they're really, really tiny. Um, I've got little tiny lids. So when I put like this on, like when I put this on the other day from Sephora, you didn't even notice because it just sunk right into my lid and it just doesn't look good. So I have small eyes. Anyway. All right. Let's see what, uh, things we get from Sephora today. Uh, number 16 right here. Every time I look at these boxes, I have a question that I keep forgetting to ask myself, but or out loud. See that had a little hole in it? I guess, are you supposed to punch it in for some reason? Is it a thing you can hang on the tree? I, I'm trying to figure out what the punching of the holes is. I'll have to look at the back of this and see if it says anything about why there's holes there. I don't know. Maybe it's just to grab it out? Oh, maybe it's just to grab it out, make it easier. I don't know. Who knows? Anybody have any guesses? Uh, drawn to these perfect lips. I don't hear anything. This box is empty, folks. I think this box is empty. I'm not joking. Oh no, it's not. It's not empty. It's just very light. Sephora Crayon Mini Lip Liner. We only had one lip liner so far, and I forget who that was from. I think it was one of the glossy boxes. 
and this is of course red. This will go great with my Christian Dior lipstick and or my, I think I also got a red lipstick from, I think it was Yves Rocher. Yeah, it was Yves Rocher. So that'll be good. I've never had a red lip liner. I know, how old am I? I should have had, yeah, I can't do this on camera, there we go. <laughs> I do this with a camera, you can't see it. I'm in a really rare form today. Did anybody notice? Um, I'll hopefully I get out of this funky mood in just a minute. I'm just being silly today, but there you Alrighty, go. Alrighty, let's take a look at the Glossy Box today. Now, if you recall, yesterday, Glossy Box gave us a duplicate. We got a, a shampoo and conditioner from, I believe it's Fakai, and we had already gotten that same exact shampoo and conditioner uh, prior to this. So let's see what number 16 holds today, which I believe is down here. Yes. Okay, let's see. Oops, you guys can't see. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> 16. Um, let's see what we get today. Hopefully something that's not a duplicate again. That'll make me sad. This box wasn't cheap. It wasn't as expensive as Christian Dior, but I know this is not a duplicate. But let's see what we have. Josephine. That's one of my great aunt's names who's passed on. So Josephine says hi. Um, what is it? Do, 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 do. Does anybody know? Eyeliner. Whoops. Eyeliner. Waterproof. Oh, that's good. Especially lately when I'm crying. It's a good thing. But as I said on the last two things ago, I said, I know I use eyeliner. Barely ever. But this looks like a nice one, maybe. I don't know who Josephine is, but let's see. How do you open this? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a liquid one. Oh, hello. Here. Liquid eyeliner. Let's see what it does on my hand. Oh, look how sweet that is. All right, I'll have to figure out how to use it. Because again, I'm a spaz when it comes to eyeliners. I'll have to go on some YouTube videos and, hey, close, and check it out. So there you go, Josephine, liquid eyeliner. Pretty. Now hopefully that comes off my hand. A little bonus today. Um, before we do the Christian Dior calendar, I just thought you might be interested in seeing this. And if you're not, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll bore you. But um, as I mentioned, the Glossy Box Company, when I bought the advent calendar, I subscribed for six months to their, you know, monthly glossy box and one came yesterday in the mail. So I thought I'd show it to you and I have no sponsorship here, believe me, but I thought we could open it up together and you could see what this kind of uh, subscription has so in case you're curious about maybe getting it. I didn't even open the box at all. It came yesterday. So this is an unboxing video now. I'm just kidding. Um, see now what comes in. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, this one's a 10. Oh, very cool. Just so you know, normally, I, I'm going to say normally, I only had one box so far. Normally it's a cardboard box inside, but I'm assuming because it's holiday season, they gave us this beautiful tin. This is really pretty too. And I probably would not throw this away. I'll have to figure out something to do with it. This can go into the recycle. cycle. Um, but typically when they give you the box, regular box too, they give you all these things like, hey, a voucher for and some chef program. Yes, I know turtle or savings from Geico. Who cares? Throw those away. But anyway, let's see what's in this glossy tin. Actually, let me go over here and open it this way so it doesn't crash. There we go. And they always give you a pretty ribbon to open. Oh, it's like a pretty, pretty present. Um, and then they always give you here, you can buy a bra, more advertising. Um, but then they give you a little booklet to tell you what you received, which we'll see in just a minute. And you simply open up and you get all these cool things to try on a monthly basis. Because I need more things to try right now. <laughs> but after I'm done with the advent calendar, it'll be nice to look at once a month. So there's a nice tea. A lemon ginger tea. That's very nice. Oh, like a couple of teas. Turmeric. Okay, very nice. And turmeric chamomile. Now it's nice. They're all caffeine free, which is good for me. Or two of them are. All right, then what do we get here? We got a moonlit, Moonlight Glow Face Palette. So this will be nice, I bet. Let's just open it and see. Look how pretty. Less, less Splash Cosmetics. Never heard of them, but hey. And this has, oh, you don't want to see me, but there's a couple of things you can put on your face. I'm assuming it could be, I oh, here, two blushes, one bronzer, one highlight. Okay, very good. Good to know. I'll try that when time allows. Not during this Advent season, though. I'll keep this on the side for later. Oh, Lord. I love... Oh, my favorite. Not gonna lie. These are the best dry shampoos. Um, it looks like this is the regular, original, classic, clean smell. And I have to tell you, this is wonderful for me. Because I have very thick hair. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna pretend. If I wash my hair more than once a week, it gets super fluffy. So I wash it with you know shampoo and conditioner once a week. 
And then by like today, this morning, literally, I was like, well, it's looking kind of dull. So I take one of these dry shampoos and I actually do use this brand, but I have a full size in my, my bathroom. Um, and I also use Amika's brand, which is really, really good. Um, and you just spritz it on your hair and then you dry, you know, blow dry your hair, whatever you do. And it just makes it like it's fresh and clean again. And literally I can get away with once a week washing my hair because my hair is so thick, but I guess I'm lucky that way. I think people with thinner hair might be a little harder to do once a week, but dry shampoo really does help. So I highly recommend that stuff. But anyway, uh, here, <laughs> rituals. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The ritual of meh. Oh no, it's not meh. It's mer. <laughs> um, this is a loving body cream. No, oh, love a body cream. Totally like that. And what else do we got here? We got Elemis Superfood Glow Performing Moisturizer for your face. Face cream. Yep. So this is nice to have uh, for cleanse. Yeah, okay, good. So new face cream. Elemis, I've learned about this company on every cruise ship I've been on. If you've ever been on a cruise in your life, and we've been on a few, we love cruises, but not right now. <clears throat> I don't want to be in there right now. Um, this is the, the, the brand they usually have in the spa. So when you go to the spa, you get like a pedicure, a manicure, whatever you get. They're trying to, you know, sell you all these Elemis products. But they're actually really good products. It's just, uh, it's annoying on the you know, cruise ship when you're trying to have a nice time and they're trying to make you buy more stuff. I think that's, a, that's all we got. So that's, that's plenty. I think that's a bad thing. But um, it's, you know, this is what they do. Every month they give you a little box with some things to try, and it's pretty darn cool. So, again, your, your choice. Take a look at Glossy Box or not. But, again, not, you know, not sponsored here. I just thought I'd open that in front of you since we're doing Advent. Right, now we're on to Christian Dior. Sorry, again, about that extra uh, footage in case you were like, oh, my God, this video is so long. So I apologize. But I thought you might look, like to see that. Um, I like getting presents every month to myself. That's what Glossy Box does. And also all the other ones I've tried in the past, FabFitFun. And I don't I only do one at a time because you can only do so many as you can tell by these advent calendars. <laughs> but it is nice once a month to have a surprise box come to your door and you have little things to try and things to open. So if you haven't done that for yourself, you should. They're not that expensive. Uh, here's number 16 today. Christian Dior, ooh. Miss Dior perfume again, but this is probably not the, yeah, this is not the rose one. This is just the regular. Definitely a dig in this today. Yes, yes, yes. This is a very pretty perfume if I remember correctly. Let's just take a quick sniff. Oh my God, that is beautiful. You know, I love a good perfume, especially ones like this. It just makes you feel so elegant and, and I sound like a commercial again, but it just makes you feel good, especially if you're all dressed up and you have a little bit of this on. Um, usually when I wear something like this, my husband's like, oh, you smell good, you know? <laughs> so I'll be putting that on uh, maybe a little later and see if he says, hey, you smell good. All right, guys, that's enough of uh, the boxes today. We'll go on next to Mr. Philip. Let's start like usual with the games calendar. Number 16, hidden behind the four. <laughs> My birthday, 416. Oh, okay. That's true. And what do you think we have today? Button. It is a button. Yay. A push button. All right. Very good. So Which makes me think we'll... Three player game. Pro yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Or the game will just get more complex or something. Yeah. All right. Radio, On the radio, radio, radio. Number 16. Yep. Button. <laughs> is it a button? <laughs> it is a button. All right, we're all, we got all sorts of buttons. Well, you remember we had the volume down, so well, maybe this is the volume, volume up. up. Yeah. Yep. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, show us what you got. So, <clears throat> got the same lights, everything, but we have four buttons now on the bottom. This is called Code Cracker. It's like the advanced Code Cracker. <clears throat> so, this one's gonna pick a random number, and then you have to kind of walk your way through it to crack the code. And each time you get a wrong button, you go back to the beginning. So it's kind of a memory game too. Um, now remember we had one the other day where you hold the button down to uh, get the two player game of tennis? Mm. So this is similar, it's still the tennis game if I put the battery in, but if I hold this button down, the code cracker game is behind it, as it says in the manual. So I'm gonna hold the button down. And it's not moving. So now I just press buttons. If Wait, I hold get... on. Speaking of moving, <laughs> there goes ball girl. Yeah. Look at that. Turtle. Show everybody how you grab the ball. <laughs> sorry. She's making a hell of a mess behind you. That's why I was <laughs> saying that. Okay. Sorry, okay. guys. So I'm um, going to start with trying to crack the code. So let me start with this button. I'll start with this one. Oh, it says you took too long. All right. 
Okay, so that was right, but the light moved and then it went went back as I held the so button. The third light's the first number. Right. So that's the first Good number. Job. Let's try this one. Nope. So this one. And let's try this one again. Nope. This one. And let's try this one. No, that's <laughs> the first button, obviously. Okay. Let's try it again. Ooh. One more. Nope. So now let's, you're this one. It. This one. This one. And this one. No. Ah. Well, now you know it's gotta this be. This one. This one. This one and this one. No, it's gonna be that fourth one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> you so. win! <laughs> so that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's it's actually a game. That yeah. actually is cool. I want to try. Yeah. Can I try? Yeah, you can try. Right, so it's I random to... each time. Wait, don't move it. Oh, I have right. to start it. Right, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so now you press any button. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, try it again. Okay. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so I know it's... No. No. Okay. Hey! Go, girl! Actually, go. I like the game. Can we keep it just like that? <laughs> no, but we can get back to it. Just got to remember what day it was. So. Day 16. Okay. My, birth, my birthday date. That's not my birthday, but 16th is my yeah. birthday, so I'll remember that. So the radio. Yay, wait, let me guess. We have volume up and down now. Volume up and down. Hooray. Yes. That's exactly what we have. I'm so loving this one better. Connect the power. Let me find a station. It's kind of scratchy. Scratchy. What are you from, ah. Minnesota? There. Scratchy. Can lower it. Can't hear it. Oh, let me turn it up. Okay. For anybody who's in Minnesota, I doubt you're there. Anybody here watching me who's in Minnesota, but I was kidding about the accent. Mr. Grinch. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> but it's, it's every, every day is a little bit better. Yep. All right. So we also colored. I did most of the green today in the, in the calendar. Phil kind of finished it out for me because I actually cooked dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. So we had a gnocchi with alfredo and um it had um, there squash squash yeah. and it also had uh oh, i can't think kale in there kale. and oh, my had gosh. some spice it was good it was very very good i'm sorry i cut your head off because i showing this but see i did more, we did more green today cut it out <laughs> go away all right mr uh, wonderful hey i forgot the cheese go get the cheese out of the fridge get the cheese <clears throat> and i'll and i'll do the uh wine up. here uh, so number 16 is today Oh, a red, a red. It's a red. All right, what do we have here? Balance of Powers. California red, just literally red wine. Balance of Powers, yay. That sounds good. All right, I'll taste that in a minute. And then I'll do this while Phil opens the wine. Uh, cheese calendar, so we're looking for number 16. Bear with me, I'm just gonna look real quick. Whoops, I the wrong floor. Um, doo, 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 doo. okay, I see it. All right, so number 16 is down here. And we know we're gonna get duplicates probably, but let's see. Did you pass the glasses, please? Oh, yeah, here. There's one glass. And there's two glasses. Mm -hmm. Number 16. Please let it be Red Leicester. Oh, it's not Red Leicester. <laughs> oh, I think we had this one already too. Oh, boy. Gouda with red pesto. Because remember I had made pesto pasta that night and I said, hey, we have a cheese that goes Wait, with the red pe pesto. No, yeah, I don't remember. I'll look at the sheet. But we definitely had Gouda with some kind of, no, well, I think it was, but it, whatever. We'll try it anyway. Yeah. We'll see how it tastes. All right, so let's, we'll turn around on the camera and we'll say hello. All right, wine and cheese time. Now this time we're actually doing this after dinner. We already ate dinner. So no big deal though. It'll be our dessert. Oh, <laughs> I gotta get the camera. Hold on a minute. Hello. It is my show. Get out. It's <laughs> nobody's show. This is just an advent extravaganza. Yeah, it is. All right. Cheers to my dad. Yes. Because today was the day, as I mentioned earlier, that we had um, his funeral. Yeah. Last year. So, um, And when this is all over, cheese and wine, you'll see the um, uh, nativity advent calendar as per usual. 
And after that, that I did I did put up that video that I said I put up of the funeral. Um, if you're triggered by that, just stop it at the Mary and Joseph and little baby Jesus and just stop it from there. Otherwise, you could take a look. All right, let's try this wine first. It smells fantastic. Oh, it, you know, it actually does. <laughs> yeah. As soon oh. as the bottle opened, like, mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm hmm yep. We have a contender. <laughs> this one's going on the top list. Mm. This is very good. It's from California. Yeah. I think. Right? I think so. Contains sulfites. I'm just kidding. It does. But the reason the only reason I say that is because I always say when the shampoo has sulfates. I know I guess I can't use a shampoo, yeah. but I can drink the wine with sulfites. But well, that tastes really good. It's cheese. really good. Yep. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> Yeah, we had this already. I recognize it. I didn't like it last time either. It's got little flakes of parsley in there, which don't really make me happy. <laughs> parsley or oregano? I don't know. It's just like oregano. oregano. Yeah. yeah I okay. like oregano. I wouldn't buy this cheese. I sure hope it's a duplicate of the red Leicester cheese. It's all about what I want. All right, say goodbye. Hmm. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>
travels home.